everybody. These nice folks from Securo sent me this security camera to do an unboxing review on. This is the Guard Pro 2. Dang, get a load of this. So I was quite surprised. The thing comes with a monitor as well. But the other nice thing, this camera, it's not plastic. It's metal. It comes with some power cords, ethernet cable, just for the Wi-Fi and some directions. I'm gonna do set up this camera. So I can tell you right off the bat that this power cord it's going to go right here. So you're going to need power for this thing. It's going to take a plug. So I'm going to go ahead and install the antenna right here, which is right in here. One thing I'm doing here, so I'm installing this. I put two screws in already, but I just moved. This thing's adjustable, so if you loosen this up here, and then you can move it up or down, it'll allow you easier access to those screws right there, just to give myself some room there. We got all three screws put in. I'll just go ahead and adjust this camera to where I want it. Go ahead and plug these two together. Okay, that thing's set up. Now let's go do the monitor. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, set up the monitor now. So the first thing to do is take this off the screen. All right, there's a good look at that good looking screen. So here's where all the stuff goes. So this is where the plug-in is HDMI, USB. Now, if you have a micro SD card, you could slide that in there. That's where the ethernet cable is gonna go. And then this is the on and off switch. Dog's getting water, that's what you hear. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look at that, comes right up. That is awesome. Look at the picture on that too. So nice. It's nice, it gives the time on there. The date's wrong, but we can adjust that. So we can push home. Ooh, look at that, it's got all the functions on there. So you got the camera. You can have up to four cameras on there. This is so nice, it's a touch screen. Wow, so you can adjust the brightness on it, the different cameras, resolution. You can go HD on any of them. does select which camera so that's the one we're using right now it's the only one that's hooked up keep that one up <clears throat> then let's go back go back there and you can record record motion okay and oh that's cool so many different options for all the different cameras too. You can adjust the time on there. You can even have a schedule for it. That's recording time, how much time you want it to record, and storage management. And here's check out the system. Power saving mode. stay with English but you can do the different languages here's some tools firmware version that's the network go back okay here's the alerts and you can get motion alerts right here too and then battery low alert ring alerts how long you want the alert to go on okay, and then you have playback too so here it'll show you all the different files that you've saved or recorded and of course the volume touchscreen volume so nice and then you can just go back to home and there's our view very very nice you can also adjust the volume right here you can see the volume levels are right there that's up that's up and down volume. Take this screen here and it's got HDMI output. So you wanna connect an HDMI cable between the monitor and display device. So what you would do is right here, there's a HDMI connection right there. I wanted to note too, these things up here. So help boost your signal a little bit. Okay, so you can, uh, this is what I've just showed you is not been the remote access function. This one here is just directly, directly set up. 
So what you'd need to do if you want to go with the remote access, you want to go ahead and uh, plug in your ethernet cable to the back of this thing here from your router to this and then set it up that way. And what you want to do is you want to download the iHome Cam app. Follow the on-screen instructions for installation. At some point in your setup process, you're going to need to scan the QR code that's located on the back of this monitor right there. This kind of shows you that exact thing there. And then hold your mobile device close to the QR code to scan it, just like you do the rest of them. Anything else, nothing different there. And give your camera a new name. And that's how you do it love this thing if you're looking for one of these this is the one to get super easy setup great picture great camera heavy duty camera nice monitor and uh, very very versatile all right you guys thank you for watching and thank you securo